we're here on the day one of the New York mural project. I don't want to prep too much except the technical side because I want the, a natural flow of, you know, you could do 100 different mural of New York and I want to do one that's kind of uh, organic. We chose a lot of different neighborhoods all over the city in the five boroughs. <laughs> Brooklyn ain't got it all, we got it. No, bro, that's where it's at, baby. Yeah. And we're gonna be there meeting people, grabbing people from the street, having people that might recognize the truck. But many people that don't even know, look, we're here and right now there's nobody. It kind of represents uh, the community of the people, of the groups of people who interact every day without knowing each other. From the richest to the poorest to all origins to people who are just visiting New York or people who born and raised here. Yeah, right now. We're waiting for you. <laughs> so it's a good way to get to know the people and the city because you can just tap to anybody in the street and stop them and if they want to get in the truck you can ask them who are you in one minute and then ask them how they want to be represented. They could be a shop owner but they're also parents and they're also a football teacher on the weekend. So it represents everybody, not only the good people or the bad people but the fact that there's a bit of both in each one of us. Let's stand up and make this world a much better place. How about that? That's where I grew up at, yo. I love my city, man. I love the people, but people need us out for balance. Let's make the world peace. Like, come on. Guns down, skills up. That's it. Hello, how are you? So let me show you. Normally I would have here <laughs> what we're walking on. Okay. But be because we're starting today. Yeah. And you're the first one, actually. So now what I ask people is what they do or how they want to be represented because you know, uh, if you have tons of ways to be represented in. In life, you just have to always follow your heart, think positive, always look forward, never look behind you. Ready? One, two, three, and... New York City is a place that welcomed me as a foreigner, like it welcomed everybody else. And I feel a New Yorker, even if I'm only here since eight years. It's the first place where people say, where are you from, you know, before, how are you? Today we're in Queens, and we have the guy who sells carpets, the woman walking with her parents, the grandfathers. We are, we're in the middle of like a Queens that I've never got to experience before. A couple kings living in Queens, cool, man, man we be cool, man. So as we're doing the project, we're gonna do a physical copy of the mural. I always like to feel the paper. My whole work is about paper. It's about touching walls, it's about interacting with people. So I wanted to create that mural live inside the truck. It's interesting because you can literally bring anyone in who wants to, tap on their shoulder and be like, who are you? And it's actually fascinating to, you know, to get to know people that normally you would never talk to. We're on Flatbush Junction, last stop on the two train, the two and the five in the heart of Brooklyn. We're in Brooklyn, baby. The best place in the world. So let's do it. MTA. I'm a train conductor for 33 years, and this is one of my special announcements. This is number five train making all stops to uh, Dyer Avenue. Stay clear of the closing doors, please. No other city like New York is the best. I just love Brooklyn. Brooklyn is the new Manhattan. I love the fact that you can come here with nothing and accomplish great things. I adore the city for the diversity, for the people here, the difference in cultures and languages. It's absolutely an amazing place. New York, New York, city of dreams. With all of its people and diversity, where we all seemingly and somehow get along. Being the son of a New York City firefighter, Joe Miscali, who lost his life on 9-11, it's a true honor for me to be part of this great brotherhood and the greatest fire department in the world. I've been a firefighter for about 28 years. 
I was assigned to Engine 255 in 1992. I transferred into Flatbush, Brooklyn. I've been here ever since. I'm a female New York City firefighter. I love this job. I love helping to serve and protect the people of the city. There's nothing that I love more than running into fires and going to help protect people. Yeah. Thank you so much. Have a good stay. Thank you. We gotta run. We gotta run. We ended up putting the trucks right by the beach in Coney Island. We parked right by the water and police on horses and all the old handmade signs and everyone had style there. Everyone was in bathing suit and coming back from the beach or going somewhere. Coney Island, a classic. Old school, but the best school. Mike. We had actually a lot of cops too and they were so happy to participate that they actually called other cops. Okay. One, two, three, go. Yeah. And you're looking in front of you really focused. And then I shoot it again and again. Ready? One, two, three, and go. Perfect. And now just turn your head this way. We're doing mugshot for the precinct, you know? Okay. So I don't know if you're innocent or not. I'm just sending the no. portrait. They'll decide, you know? <laughs> Home of the Woo, Staten Island. Let's go. Peace and blessings. Just starting, Staten Island. This is a very symbolic place. That's why we chose it. That's where Eric Garner actually has been killed by the cops there. Really interesting community. A lot of people from tons of different backgrounds. Great vibe, actually. Great people. That's your boy, no blacks. Woo! Bike life is a unity of people that come together on bikes because of bikes. Y'all gonna see a lot of people who walk St. Heights with bikes. As we're entering actually the last week and the last day of the shoot, now it's the moment, the very important part in the mural where we are actually connecting the dots of the mural. In the mural, everyone is at the exact same level. They're being shown in what they do, they're being shown in the action of life, and it, it reminds you that all range of life takes the subway and end up taking it without knowing the story of each of them. You know, they might never talk in the subway, but all those paths of life cross and travel together and move, and that city is in constant movement, and all those people walking towards the mural. I'm from New York, so I guess I have a more than special attachment to New York, especially Manhattan. Shooting this mural felt like a journey in my own city, I have to say, and uh, I've never tapped on so many shoulders and get to hear so many stories, and it made me realize another strength of this city that I can't wait to share with everyone.